All right, let's talk a little bit about reflection. Reflection is just taking a given figure. In this case, our, our first example here would be this uh, this uh, quadrilateral one, two, three, four, yeah, quadrilateral x, y, and reflecting it over a specific line. And in our first example here, we're talking about that, that line being the y-axis. What we do is we imagine that the y-axis sort of represents a mirror. And if we were to look at the new image, in this case, um, you know, x prime, oops, I'm sorry, x prime, y prime, our new location, if we were to look at that new image, we're, we're looking at kind of what would happen if we had a mirror reflection or a mirror image of our original shape. And we do that just by finding out each point's distance from the line that we're translating over or that we're reflecting over, and then doing that same distance on the other side. So if we're two points from here to here, if this is a distance of two, then this over here would also be a distance of two. If this is a distance of five, then this also would be a distance of five. So each point is going to be the same distance from the reflection line as it was originally. It's just going to be on the other side of the reflection. Yeah? And we can do that sort of shorthand for that is by taking each location, each point, whatever the coordinates are, x, y, and then translating them by making the x coordinate negative and not changing the y coordinate. So, for instance, if this point here was, say, 2, 2, then the new point would be negative 2, 2, negative 2, positive 2. So we just change the x coordinate without changing the y coordinate. It stays the same. Yeah? This one would go from, um, say, maybe this is 5, 9. Then this one over here would be negative 5, 9. The y coordinate stays the same whereas the x-coordinate becomes negative. So that's all we have to do to reflect over the y-axis. Just change the sign of the x-coordinate. To reflect over the x-axis, which seems, I know, a little backward, because we think the x-axis runs left to right, y is a vertical flip related to the x-axis. But that's because we're talking about putting the mirror in horizontally so that the image then changes vertically. So then, to do that one, we just do the opposite of what we did to reflect over the y-axis, whereas with the y-axis we change the x-coordinate. To reflect over the x-axis we change the y-coordinate. So now the x-coordinate stays the same, the y-coordinate becomes negative. So whatever these things are, say this point over here, we'll say this one is, um, I don't know, 9, 5. Then to reflect it, that corresponding coordinate down here would be 9, negative 5. So now the x-coordinate stays the same, and the y-coordinate is the one whose sign changes. So to reflect over the x-axis, keep the x-coordinate the same. To reflect over the y-axis, keep the y-coordinate the same. That's how I end up remembering it myself. I just remember that I'm not changing the coordinate that goes with the axis I'm reflecting over. Cool? All right, let's take a look at the examples.